Hello guys, once again, welcome to my channel uh, where we try to break down some key uh, different functionalities that is always handy for anyone working on the Jira board to know. You could be a developer, you could be a scrum master, you could be a coach, an agile coach. It's always important to understand how to do all this kind of cool stuff. So guys, in today's tutorial, we'll be uh, breaking the different ways on how you can add columns into your active sprint. How you can structure this board to get more columns to read the way you want it. That being said, by default, the board always comes in three columns. So when you create a project, you always have your to do in progress and you have done. So if you may you are maybe like in the Kanban wall or in a scrum wall, where you guys are working with a scrum project with your board, you need to try to structure the board in such a way that all this cool stuff can be, you can add your review ready for demo, you can add maybe a release column, you can add like maybe your OTS, name on your organization. So to ensure that your board has some transparency as they are moving stuff, you can easily see how move from column to column rather than just having your three do in progress and done. So it's very, very important that you structure your board in such a way that there can be some, some, of, some sort of accountability, transparency to the team, especially when you are running your daily stand-up. Without wasting any uh, time, let's just jump into it. So once you come into your board, go into three icons. So you have this lightning bar, you have the star, you have a share, and then go under this three bar. Once you click on this three bar, go to board settings, okay? Once you click your board settings, uh, sorry, guys, my board is uh, kind of needs some time to come up. So, once again, we go under board, set, board settings. So, once you click on your board settings, you see where it says column, you have your swim lane, you have your quick filter, you have your cardboard, you have your card layout, your estimate, and all those kind of cool stuff. Since we want to add some columns, this is where we're going to click. You just need to click on your columns. When you click on your columns, you see where it says, you can see the three that we have by default, we have our to do, we have our in progress, and then we have our done. So in this tutorial, like as I mentioned, we'll be adding some key uh, columns here, some swim lanes through which our stories can move from. So we just come to add columns. Once we come here, then what's the name that we want to have? So let's just say ready uh, for development. So this will be in progress. Then we're gonna add that. So you can see here, we already have our ready for development. So it's in progress. We can just, you know, back and move this. So it's some to do, it's ready for development. We move it to in progress. So maybe like we, we need to have, after when in progress is done, we can maybe have like, you know, uh, our demo. Let's have a demo as we add in here from in progress. Um, we do have our demo as we come over here. So once this is done, maybe then we need to have like a release or ready for release. So you add it. Now you see how the swim lanes are being added. The, the one thing to uh, very important for you to note is that if you happen to move this done ready for release here. It's just gonna screw up your board. You won't actually have a burn down chart. You won't end. You will just keep going, going, going. So make sure that your done is always at the end. No matter how you structure your board, your done always be by this end. So once we're done now here, let's go now back into our board. So it will happen to go now back into our board. You'll see how we have added different structures here. You can see our to do ready for development in progress. You have your demo ready for release, and then you have your done. So, just the way Jira has been structured, if you put your done here before bringing it to ready for release, you play your button down chart, it's not going to show anything. So, it's just going to be a straight line. So, when you are structuring your bot, know that by default, your done is always the last column. So guys, this is the short video that we have for today. If you find this video very helpful and insightful, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, drop some comments, and then uh, share, subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any tips 
on how to do some cool stuff, especially if you're a scrum master or an agile coach or someone working on a Jira board. Thank you.